Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. How you doing? I'm Trent. Nice to meet you. Nice to have you here. I'm glad you're here. What is a LUT, right? What does that mean? Well, a LUT in short, or in wrong form, I guess, stands for lookup table. Now, what is a lookup table? Well, in simplest terms, and I'm going to keep this as simple as possible, a LUT is just a file that contains instructions in some type of mathematical way to give to your software of choice, whether it's Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro or DaVinci Resolve, whatever, it's a set of instructions that the software understands and realizes how to interpret for the way color should look and react in your footage. That's, I'm gonna leave it there, okay? I'm no scientist, I'm no colorist, I'm just a guy in his house talking about this because I have an interest in it, right? So today I'm gonna show you how to color grade something and then save it as a LUT. So we're gonna have three step process here. First, we're gonna color grade our footage to make sure if you don't know how to color grade something, you're up to speed. Then I'm gonna show you how to save it as a LUT. And once we save it as a LUT, then I'm gonna show you how to apply it to your footage in two different ways. That way you have an understanding of what to do with that LUT afterwards. Now, if you wanna use the LUT that we make in this video, I'm gonna put it for free in the description. You can go ahead, download it from the description below. Check out the store while you're there, it helps the channel. And honestly, I'm trying to do this full time, but I can't really do that without your guys' help. So by all means, do that if you'd want to. Let's get into it. Let's talk about how to make it and talk about how to color grade. So down here in the left, I have my project bin and you'll notice that it may or may not to you, I don't know, lacks color of all sorts. It looks pretty terrible, right? And you might know what's happening here in case you're somewhat familiar with the video. This is shot in a log format, specifically in ProRes. Right now, it's not converted to a common color space called Rec 709 that we needed to be in for the average viewing experience on, let's say, YouTube. We're gonna select all the footage, right click it, go to modify and then color. Now here, you'll have to have a conversion LUT. Now a conversion LUT is a type of LUT, which is why I'm bringing this up, that takes your footage from one color format, one color space in this case, to a different color space. Now, I'm not gonna get into the science. If you want a video on that, you probably should go somewhere else. But what you need to do is get an input LUT for your camera, if you shot in log that is, to convert it to Rec. 709. In my case, I shoot on Canon, I have a Canon R6, and I shoot in a format called Cinema Gamut C-Log3. Don't ask me what that means. That's just what it's called. Now, I know that I need it to be in Rec. 709. So what I'm going to do is go to Input LUT. And you'll see that I already have it here. I have a Cinema Gamut C-Log3 to BT709, or in other words, Rec. 709. Um, and I'm going to use this exact one. If you don't know where to find yours, go to Google, type in the color space you shot in, type it in, type the word Reddit after it. Reddit usually has someone who's already asked the question about where to find the conversion lot that you're specifically looking for. And someone more likely than not has probably already provided a link directly to it. Go there, do that, come back once you get the downloaded version of your you know, conversion lot. Once you do that, again, put it in the input lot. You'll see that you can add what's there. Just do that and then press OK. You'll notice that on the left, the color of the footage magically changes and bam, it looks decent. It's not great, looks decent. So I've already set an in and an out point here. We're gonna click this, drag video only, drag it in here, and you'll see that the footage looks again, pretty decent, but we're gonna make this as quick as possible. Uh, I'll go to window, Lumetri color. We'll find out where that appears. I guess we'll we'll do it uh, over here on the left side. I'll click my footage, make sure it's selected. Let's drag this onto layer one. And over here, you'll see that it has input what? Once again, that's another spot for you to put an input what in. Instead of doing what I did down here, you can always put it here on an individual shot to shot basis. Unless you need to, don't do that. It takes longer. It's a little more tedious. So let's keep rolling. I'm gonna quickly color grade this, right? Uh, I have lights in my face. I don't recommend having lights in your face when you color grade, but it looks like our highlights can be brought up a little bit because I like the way that this is, you know, clipping. Uh, shadows, let's bring those down. Whites, bring up again. Blacks, let's bring down. Let's boost the contrast up. Let's drop the exposure. Set the white balance to this wall here because I know that's white. Oof, that's a little too blue. Let's bring that back. Let's bring this back. And this is a super quick color correction. By all means, take the time you need. Uh, I'm gonna turn this basic correction or bypass on. You'll see this is where we started. This is where we are now. Let's say I'm happy with this, right? For sake of tutorial, I'm happy with this shot. Now, what do I do? Well, I need to actually color grade it. We just color corrected and lighting corrected, however you wanna you know, word that. I'm gonna go down here, right click, go to new item and adjustment layer. I'll press enter because it's set to my canvas size. And then I'll drag the adjustment layer on top of my footage and stretch it to length. If I go over here to Lumetri Color, you'll notice that all the parameters in Lumetri are reset. And that's because I selected the adjustment layer. If I go back to my original footage, right, you'll see that there, there you go, you know, it's still there. But the adjustment layer has no data on it. So we need to give it some data. I'm gonna close basic correction. We'll go down to color wheels and match first. And I will start messing with the color here on how I want my color grade to look. Now, keep in mind, this is what we're going to add and create into the LUT. So 
think about, you know, what you want to do with the color here to actually apply as a light in the future, right? If you want to make like a very warm, sunny feeling light, which is what I'm going to do here, then you want to keep that in mind that in the future you want to use this. So we don't want to over exaggerate something too much uh, for sake of keeping it consistent across the board. So we'll start with our midtones. I'll push them to the yellows because again, I want to go for that very sunny feeling and we'll kind of over exaggerate it for a second. So you can see the difference. And if I turn the bypass off, right, that's what we just started with. Here we are currently. Um, and you know, I think that the uh, highlights are a little too blue. So let's push the highlights maybe towards the red magentas or something along those lines. We might change that. And then shadows, uh, let's bring down the shadows to blue again to kind of counteract what we've just done there. And you'll see that if I turn it off and then on, off and then on, right? That's currently where we are. Now, you may not like this. You may love it. I, I don't know. But what I do know is color grading is all about, you know, the experience. It's all about how you feel when you're done with it. So mess around with it until you find something good. I'm going to come back when I, when I, you know, tweak this a little bit better. And okay, so here's where I am, right? Again, if we turn it off this layer or we do this, it's the same thing right now. We'll just turn this off. This is what we had prior to color grading. This is what we currently have with the color grade. It's pretty decent. You know, I would suggest taking as much time as you need to get this right. And you're going to have to tweak it back and forth in the next step anyways. So now we'll go to creative. We'll do the same thing here with our shadow tint and our highlight tint just to make sure that it is exactly how we want it to be. I want to push this a little bit towards the greens and the shadows. And we'll do the opposite when it comes to the highlight tint and push it up towards the reds just a tiny bit. Uh, again, we'll push the sharpening up, push the vibrance up a little bit and push the saturation up a tiny bit. Again, take the time you need. Don't rush this step. And if you turn this off, you'll see that's what we did after. This is before we just did the creative touch and this is after. And then if we turn this off, no color grade, color graded. Again, whether or not you like it, right? Simple. That's what this is. Uh, now we close that up and we're done with the color grading portion for the sake of the tutorial. How do we export this into a format that works as a LUT, right? How would you use this on something else? Um, well, simple, really go to Lumetri Color, go to the three lines next to it, export it as a dot cube file. I don't really know much about the dot look file. It might work the same, but we're going to use dot cube for this, this context. Uh, dot cube. I've gone ahead. I found a folder, right? We're going to name this. So I don't know what we'll call this. Uh, Trentorials Sunny Green because it's kind of sunny. It's kind of leaning toward the green. I'm sure I might come up with a better name. Uh, this is again going to be available for download for free in the description. So go ahead, download it if you want it. Uh, I'm going to press save. Now, what do we do to actually use it in the future on any other footage, right? This is the last step. This is the last part. I promise you it's almost over. Well, for instance, let's say I delete the adjustment layer and I'm back to square one, right? The lighting is corrected, but the color is not. If I select the clip right down here and I go to creative over here in Lumetri, you'll see that it says, look, I'm going to go to none, press browse, and I'll find out wherever the heck I saved this. Now, in this case, I saved it in my what's folder, Trentorials sunnygreen.cube. That's what we just did, right? So I'll press open and you'll notice that, bam, there it is. The, the color grade, if I turn this off, no color grade. The LUT is now applied. There you go, right? So technically speaking, you could be done. That could be it. But let's take this one step further just for explanation's sake. I'm going to undo that, drag the adjustment layer back in here, put it on the adjustment layer by doing the same exact step, right? So now it's on the adjustment layer so we can still work with the footage below it without affecting it. And if I drag the adjustment layer out, then any clip I take, I have this footage and I like this shot. We'll put this shot underneath it, turn this off. I'll make sure this is color graded really quickly. And okay, so now we've gone ahead, we color corrected, right? If I go ahead and turn this off, you'll see where we started. Now all we'll do is just go ahead and turn the adjustment layer back on. And you'll notice that the adjustment layer with that what applied to it is now affecting the layer below it. I'm sure you understand how adjustment layers work. We're not going to really go that deep into it. If you want to watch a full color grading video, you can click right here. You can watch a very in-depth video that I've made in the past. But essentially, you right, you can go ahead and add this what to this. We can go change the what if we have a different what to use. That's simply how you do it, right? We talked about color grading. We talked about how to export it as a what file to use on something different and how to apply it to your footage in two different ways in the future. And you can make a very consistent, nice, clean look across the board. So so once again, if you want to download this or get a real lot pack that I'll probably be making in the future, go ahead to the store down below. You can get this one for free or check out the rest of the products in the store. Thanks very much for being here. I hope you guys learned something, enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great night. See ya.